consider the curve y is equal to x to the power of 5 minus 15x cubed minus 162. Find the stationary points on the curve and b determine the nature of the stationary points and c hence sketch the curve. So we've got y is equal to x to the power of 5 minus 15x cubed minus 162. Now in order to find stationary points we have to find dy by dx the first derivative and put that equal to 0. So differentiating this term by term, so this becomes 5 times x, and remember you reduce the power by 1 to get 4, so we get 5x4, 3 times minus 15 is minus 45x squared, and when you differentiate a constant you get nothing. So we now have to, at the stationary points, 5x to the fourth minus 45x to power, uh, squared will be equal to 0. So we now need to solve this equation. So the highest common factor is 5x squared. So we'll take that out. And we're going to be left with x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Now we note that this is the difference of two squares. So that this now becomes 5x squared. x plus 3 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. So learn to look out for the difference of two squares. So therefore x can be equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 3, or x is equal to 3 from each of those brackets. Now, we have to find now the y-coordinate, so make sure now we substitute back into the y. So we're going to have that y is 0 to the power of 5 minus 15 times 0 minus 162. So that gives me minus 162. When x is equal to minus 3... We now do y is minus 3 all to the power of 5 minus 15 times all to the power of 3 minus 162. Be careful on your calculator that you use uh, put these into brackets before raising it to the power of 5. So we got, that will actually give me 0. And when x is equal to 3, we're going to have that y is 3 to the power of 5 minus 15 times 3 cubed minus 162, which gives me minus 324. So the stationary points are, so put it all together, 0, minus 162, minus 3 and 0, and 3 and minus 2, 324. Using the second derivative uh, test, we have dy by dx is going to be 5x to the 4 minus 45x squared. If we're using the second derivative test, we have to differentiate this again. So that will become 20x to the cubed. This one will become minus 90x. And now we're going to test each point. And if you remember, if this comes out to be positive, we have a minimum. If it becomes out to be uh, negative, we have a maximum. If it comes out to zero, then we have a problem. We need to go back and use the first derivative test. So at x is equal to minus 3, the second derivative will be 20 times minus 3 cubed minus 90 times minus 3, which is minus 270. Now that is negative, therefore automatically we can say that minus 3, 0 is a maximum point. At x is equal to 3, we have that the second derivative will be 20 times 3 cubed minus 90 times 3. That's equal to 270, so that's positive, and therefore 3 minus 324 is a minimum point. At x is equal to 0, then the second derivative will be 2 times 0 cubed minus 90 times 0, which is 0. Therefore, we now have a problem, and we have to revert back to the first derivative test, because this could be a maximum minimum or a point of inflection. You only have to take uh, y is equal to x to the fourth to uh, uh, see that. So if we did dy by dx is equal to 5x to the 4 minus 45x squared, and then we make this sort of table, so we have x, x less than 0, x equal to 0, x greater than 0. Down here we write dy by dx and the curve. At x is equal to 0, we know that dy by, d, dy by dx is equal to 0, otherwise we wouldn't have got this point here. And therefore the curve is horizontal. So, using the 
first derivative. Good idea to write out the first derivative near the table so you don't substitute into the wrong thing. We're going to have dy by dx is 5 times minus 0 0.1 to the power of 4 minus 45 times minus 0 0.1. squared right working that out we're going to have uh, my that gives me minus 0 0.4495 which is less than zero if that's less than zero that means that that is negative and therefore the curve the line slopes that way at x is 0 0.1 i.e just greater than zero then dy by dx will be 5 times 0 0.1 to the 4 minus 45 times 0 0.1 squared, which gives me minus 0 0.4495 again, which again is negative, which means this... Which means that this is negative, and therefore the slope slopes this way. So this goes negative, horizontal, negative. So that's not a maximum or minimum. This is what's known as a point of inflection. And it has a special name. 0 minus 162 is what's known as a stationary point of inflection. Later on, we'll look at non-stationary points of inflection. Okay, so this is what's known as a stationary point of inflection. And therefore, minus 3, 0 is a maximum point. 0 minus 162 is a stationary point of inflection. And 3 minus 3, 2, 4 is a minimum point. Right, we're now asked to sketch the curve. So it's all best to sketch the curve on a bit of plain paper. So draw yourself a set of axes with a ruler. Label the axis X and Y. Now mark on all the interesting points. Just really need to get the proportions right. The X scale can be different to the Y scale. So we've got minus 3, 0, which I'm going to put there. I'm going to put 0 minus 162 there, and then obviously lower and obviously the same sort of distance over here. I'm going to put 3 minus uh, 324. I know that's a maximum, I know that's a non-stationary point of inflection, and I know that's a minimum. So I need to just draw a curve, looks, looks like that. So what happens here, the curve goes up, it is 0 here, and it's a maximum, it goes down and becomes zero again, but then carries on in the negative direct negative uh, slope again, and then goes through that point, which is the minimum point, and back through here. In this um, question, we're not being asked to find the value of this particular point. So label the curve at the end. So y is equal to x to the power of 5 minus 15x cubed minus 162. Please make this as large as possible. Right, so this is a maximum point, this is a minimum point, and this is the stationary uh, point of inflection. Okay, in American English, this is spelt differently, this word. Now, if you use a bit of software like GeoGebra to draw it, it will look something like this. This is the maximum. You can see this is a stationary point. It's a stationary point because here the gradient is equal to zero. Now, there are other um, points of inflection which we're going to look up where we will see that the uh, gradient is not equal to zero. We'll look at that in another video. And that's the minimum point. So, okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find non -station, uh, stationary, sorry, stationary points of inflection and also finding a maximum and minimum. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.